Welcome to the Dan Kitchen. We will be making gizarda cake this morning. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's get started. Half cup of butter, one teaspoon almond flavor, one teaspoon vanilla, one teaspoon rose water, one tablespoon cinnamon powder, two cup of flour, all purpose, one and a half cup of dark sugar, ginger, when you grate this, you're supposed to get like two tablespoons of ginger, the star of the show, coconut, and this is a medium size coconut. And of course, you need your nutmeg. If you're not using the old nutmeg that you grate, you can use half teaspoon of nutmeg powder. So we will be breaking the coconut now. The water inside, it's very good. You can drink it. So I wanna break it so we can get the water out. So the water is out, but I just wanna strain it before I even drink it. And we're gonna knock on our coconut. After you break the coconut, you're just gonna add it in a bowl with some water. Now I'm showing you how to remove the coconut. So right here is a shell. Still tough and you can see the difference. The white part is a coconut, but you still have some brown under it. So you're gonna come as right at the edge here where the coconut is right there you see right there and you're gonna put the knife right under and you're just gonna take the knife the pint of the knife and you flip just like that and the, our coconut is out sometimes when you're breaking it a part of the shell already come half So like this part here with the green, you're gonna peel it off. You see? So we finish ox the coconut out from the shell. It is like this, you see? And you're gonna grate it. So with the grater, the coconut, Hold it by the end there and you begin. So this is what I'll be doing until everything finish. So now that I finished great the coconut guys, your coconut should be looking like this. guys please do not put any water on the coconut we're not gonna squeeze the juice because the coconut have milk in it you see so do not squeeze it out because we can't use the trash to make our gizada we need the coconut with the milk and all of that so to this we're gonna add the sugar He'll ensure no lump is in the sugar. So now we add the sugar in and you just want to mix it around. So now you're going to add the cinnamon powder. We're adding some flavor to our coconut. We're going to add the almond. vanilla and the rose water and we're just gonna set this aside okay with the nutmeg we're gonna break the nutmeg from the shell and all you need to do is just bang them. 
and the ginger you're gonna scrape the outer portion off just like this we're gonna grate the ginger and our nutmeg I'm just gonna grate the ginger right beside the nutmeg right beside the ginger not too much nutmeg because I too late half teaspoon so we have our ginger and the nutmeg and you're gonna add it to the coconut I'm just gonna mix it up, mix it in it. So we're gonna add one cup of water to the pot on the fire. It's already boiling and you're gonna add the coconut to it. We're just going to give this 15 minutes for it to boil down and the coconut get a little everything. 15 minutes, so just turn the fire down. So while we're moving on with the other stuff, so this is the filling. We'll be sieving the flour. It's always good for you to sieve the flour, guys. Add a pinch of salt. And you come, come in with the butter. With clean hands, guys, don't be afraid to play in this. We're gonna play like we play in Dolly House, okay? We're going to play in the flour until it resembles fine bread crumbs. Okay, 15 minutes. And we're going to move the, remove the coconut from the fire. And it's supposed to be looking like this. I'll put it back in the container. This is steamy hot. So with ice cool water, this water is cold, ice water, and I have two tubes of ice to heat. So you're going to make a well in, and we're going to come in. Let me be accurate. Let me use half cup. Let me pour half cup of the water out. So you're making this, you know exactly what to do. And you're just gonna have the water little at a time. You're not gonna pour everything. For me, I know the exact measurement what to do, but because I need you guys just to be accurate with what you are doing. So you see, from the half cup of water, I just use a little. So you can't pour all the water on it elsewhere. It will become too soft and it will spoil. So you'd have to do this all over again. So now guys, we're gonna flour. We're gonna put the dough you need to flour. So we're just sieving the flour on. I'll replace the dough down. Roll it, the rolling pin in the floor and we're gonna roll the dough. I'm gonna take it up, flip it over. So 
So now we finish roll the dough, guys. You just want to roll. Mm -hmm. Not too thin. And not too thick. Okay. So now, guys, you want a round cutter. You can use a glass, something that is round. And the size doesn't really matter. It depends on how you want your gizzard to be. So beautiful people, you're watching this video today. And you haven't yet subscribed what are you waiting for please be sure to like the video share the video and subscribe hit that notification bell so when D Don is doing a video you will be the first one to know and now we're just gonna save some flour over on top So now we are gonna pinch the edge of the gizzard. And we use a finger to deepen the inside because remember we have to put the filling in just like that you see so guys bear in mind when you're pinching the edge you have to make like a cup because we're gonna fill in the middle so you can't just pinch the edge and it flat just like that no you have to come like you're taking care of the edge up you're forming a bowl or a cup and work the dough with your finger and you deepen the inside ensure you flour the board properly because if you don't flour the board then the dough will be sticking to the board so flour it properly and flour the dough too so with the baking tin I'm just gonna spray some oil in it just for the dough not to stick in the bottom and now you're just gonna remove the dough and we're gonna place them in our grease baking pan now we're gonna add the filling in you just need a small spoon you don't want too much of a big spoon you're gonna put the filling inside So even before, I forgot to tell you guys, before you put the filling in, you just want to prick, pick um, the bottom of the dough, just like that, for ear it. So there we go, in the oven. Our gizzarda. 300 degree for 20 25 minutes. Remember, I told you. So, this is it, beautiful people. The gizzarda is ready for eating. Ain't it looking delicious, guys? It's crispy on the outside and soft and gooey on the inside. So, beautiful people, just give it a try. You will like it. It's a sweet treat here for the children for adult you can pack it on the go wherever and it's like a belly full when you eat one of these all you need is some water so please give it a try and please don't forget to subscribe like and share and also give my son a like give him a thumbs up he's the one that editing all this beautiful video we are watching and he's in school so cheer him on guys don't forget to give him that like and I thank you all. Please take care. I thank you for watching. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I thank you for everything, guys. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And please remember to hit that notification bell so you will be the first to know, to know, to know when D-Don is doing a video. Love and peace. See you on the next one. Keep sweet. Bye for now.